Okay, we're going to do some examples uh, like this. Uh, we'll do this one together. So write it down. It's negative 4 times x plus 2 equals negative 3 times x minus 1. Okay. So um, again, we'll do the distributive property and then see if we can add like terms and solve. So please write this down. Negative 4 parenthesis x plus 2 equals negative 3 parenthesis x minus 1. Okay, so we've got to apply the distributive property first. I hope, I mean, there's really not a whole lot else you can do at the beginning of these equations. So what do you get on the left if you apply the distributive property? Write it down. Negative 4 times x. What's that? Negative 4 times x, negative 4x, right? And now negative 4 times positive 2 negative times positive and 4 times 2, right? So would that be negative 8, right? Now what do you get on the right hand side? And You've got to apply the distributive property with a negative 3, don't we? So it's negative 3 times x and then negative 3 times negative 1. So write down what you get on the right. negative 3 times x negative 3 x negative 3 times negative 1 negative 3 times negative 1 plus 3 right so we've applied the distributive property and we usually then try to add like terms but are there any like terms we can add see so if you look on the left this is an x term, negative 4x minus 8. So you can't add these together. They're not like terms. How about on the right? Can you add these together? Might be tempting because negative 3 and 3 make 0. But the point is, this is an x term. That's a number. You can't add them together. So we don't have any like terms to add in this example. Until we start trying to solve it, of course. Right. But, but before we solve it, there's nothing to add together on either side of the equation. Okay. So now we're on to step three, which is solving the thing, okay? And again, there's no um, bad way of doing it. There's no bad way of doing it. Um, you can, but there are four options right now of what to do. I'm gonna try to get rid of the negative three X just because that's what we've been doing consistently and most students kind of like just one consistent way of getting through this stuff. Um, but but there are you can you can try any way you like, but to get rid of the negative three x, what would you do? Would you add three x, right? See negative three x plus three x is zero, and you would add three x over here as well, right? So what do you get on both sides if you add three x? So negative 4x plus 3x is a negative 1x. Okay, and then we have minus 8 equals negative 3x plus 3x is 0. So on the right, we just have this positive 3 left over. Does that make sense? And then we keep going from here. So um, just to let you know, you could have done it differently. I mean, if you wanted to. You could have, for example, um, added 8 to both sides, first of all, here. Or you could have, even, probably, a, probably a, if you really wanted to be more efficient, then you could have added 4x to both sides. And that would actually give you a negative 8 here, you see, and a positive 1x plus 3. And then all you have to do is subtract 3, and you have the answer, right? But uh, the way we're going, we have a negative 1x minus 8 equals 3. And what do we do now to solve from here? We've got to add 8, right? So what do we get? So what we get is negative 1x equals 11. Now that's negative 1 times x. So how do you get x by itself? To get x by itself, you divide by negative 1 on both sides. Okay. Divide by negative 1, and that gives what? That gives x equals 
11 over negative 1. Positive over negative is negative. 11 over 1 is 11. x equals negative 11. Okay. Now, in the other case, if I had have chosen to add 4x to both sides, I would still get negative 8 equals 1x plus 3, and then I would subtract 3 from both sides. And on the left, that would give me negative 11. On the right, that would give me x. So I'd have x equals a negative 11 that way also. And if I wanted to check that, I would just plug negative 11 in for x in the original equation. Okay. So that would give me negative 4 times negative 11 plus 2 equals negative 3 times negative 11 minus 1. So I just stick negative 11 in in place of x. Okay. So on the left we have negative 4 and then negative 11 plus 2 is negative 9, right? And on the right it's negative 3 times the negative 11 minus 1 is that's like plus negative, that makes negative 12, right? So on the left, what's negative 4 times negative 9? Positive 36. And on the right, what's negative 3 times negative 12? That's also positive 36. So when I plug in negative 11 for x, uh, both sides end up being the same. And so negative negative 11 solves the equation. So that is the answer, right? So please write this one down to yourself. It's negative parenthesis 3x minus 2 equals negative 5 times x minus 4. So please write that one down, press pause, do the whole thing yourself, and then check the video, okay? Or indeed, you can plug in your answer and see if the equation itself works out. Okay, I hope you pressed pause and tried it. I'm going to do it now. So a little sneaky one here. You might have forgotten, but if when you have a negative outside a parenthesis, you can just write negative 1 because it's just one bag of stuff, one group. And you can multiply everything by negative one. Do you remember that? So please continue from here, press pause, and just do the whole question from here if you haven't done so yet. So negative one times three x is negative three x. Negative one times negative two is plus two. On the right hand side, we need to multiply by negative five everywhere. What did we get on the right? Did you get it? Negative 5 times x, negative 5x, negative 5 times negative 4 plus 20. Okay. Now we need to see if we can add like terms. Are there any like terms to add? So we've applied the distributive property and there are no like terms on this side or on this side. So there are no add add there is no um, like there are no like terms to add, so we can skip that part and now we just need to solve it, right? And again, there's about four, there are four different options you have to begin uh, solving this equation. You could add 3x to both sides. You could subtract 2 from both sides. You could add 5x to both sides, or you could subtract 20 from both sides. And either way is fine. I'm just going to skip, stick with getting rid of that term, just because we've been doing it consistently, and a lot of students just like to do it the same way over and over. So that's fine. So negative 5x, to get rid of the negative 5x, you would add... 5x to both sides, right? What do you get on both sides if you added 5x? So negative 3x plus 5x is 2x plus 2 equals 20. And then you can solve it from here. What would you get if you solved it from here? So to undo the adding 2, you subtract 2 from both sides. That gives you 2x equals 18. And now 2x has been multiplied by 2, to, so to undo that, you just divide both sides by 2. And you get x equals 9. Okay? And if you chose a different way to proceed, um, for example, if you chose to, I don't know, add 3x to both sides, let's say. If you chose that way, it would have all worked out as well because you would have got. Uh, 2 equals negative 2x plus 20, right? And then just subtract 20 because you want to keep the x by itself. 
and you get negative 18 equals negative 2x okay and then divide by negative 2 and you get the answer so you get x here and negative over negative positive 18 over 2 is 9 just trying to make the point that you didn't have to add 5x at this part you could have say added 3x but whatever root you choose you should get the same answer in the end so we got x equals 9 this way and when we added 5x we got x equals 9 as well right and if we check that it'll all work out as well of course um, so negative parentheses 3 times x minus 2 equals negative 5 uh, times x minus 4 and if I plug 9 in for x both sides should be the same okay so this is going to be negative 3 nines is 27 minus 2 gives 25 so that's a negative 25 on the left right on the right hand side we've got negative 5 times 9, 9 minus 4 is 5 and negative 5 times positive 5 is also, also negative 25 so the correct answer is 9.